you're thinking about working on the pipeline. Well, with all the talk of the Keystone Pipeline being built from Texas to Alberta, as well as the Gateway Pipeline going from Alberta across British Columbia to Kitimat, there's never been a better time to get a job working on the pipeline. Some of you might be interested in knowing what the opportunities are that lay ahead. This short video is intended to give you a little bit of insight into what kind of jobs you might expect and what kind of people you'll run into working here on the pipeline. From the clearing crew to the testing crew, there's a wide and varied choice of positions on the pipeline. The crew that I work on is called the welding crew, and it consists of six different positions. Firstly, are the machine operators, who drive these huge machines to position the welding shacks onto the pipe. Then there are the preheaters, who use these tiger torches to heat up the pipe and get it ready for the welding process. The dingleberries work in teams of two, and these are the guys that grind and buff the welds down after they've been welded, and get them ready for the inspector to check them out. You need strong wrists to be a dingleberry. The technicians work for a separate company and they're on hand to fix anything that might go wrong with the welding operation and its systems. The welder's helpers, like me, are on hand to do just about everything and anything that the welders will tell you to do. Then of course there are the welders. What the fuck are you looking at? So when we're putting the pipe together, first there's the pipe fitters down here and they piece it all together. Then we have a shack. And the people in this shack, the welders and their helpers, they lay that down on the pipe and they put down what's called as a hot pass weld. From there, we go to the next shack and they do a fill weld, which fills up most of the weld, but it doesn't quite get the top of it. So the next one is the cap shack, and that's the shack that I work in. These shacks all go up and down and along the line throughout the day, putting welds in all the way down until we have one continuous piece of pipe. The shack has four people inside, a team of two welders and two welders helpers, all working together with great teamwork and commitment to get the job done. Come on in and we'll show you just what goes on inside.
Job done. <laughs> so most people here on the pipeline start out as a welder's helper. And in order to be a good welder's helper, you need to master the art of three basic tools. First, the grinder. Second, the buffer. I need to fuck up, let's go! Come on, let's go! And third, and most importantly, the hair dryer. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah, that's how daddy likes it. Oh. Hurry the fuck up! <laughs> but the tool that's the most important out of everyone is this thing, it's called the RMS welding system also known as the bug. This is my bug! There are other bugs like this one, but this one is mine! Without this bug, I have nothing! And without me, my bug is nothing! This is my bug! Ah! Well, that's about it. I hope this video has been informative and insightful and has helped you make your choices on whether or not you want to work in the pipeline industry. It's a hard job and it can be stressful and, uh, and it can be challenging mentally and physically. But if you think that you've got the right stuff, then why don't you- Yeah, come on out, we need some fresh meat out here. Motherfucker!